the MG HS mid-sized SUV. More space, more safety tech with MG Pilot and more peace of mind. All from only $29,990 drive away. The MG HS, it's the more you've been looking for. In Sunday. On air, online and on your smart speaker. Your place to wine, dine and have a good time. Fitzy's, open seven days. Hit News Briefing. Hello, I'm Alicia McFarlane. The only survivor of a horror crash in Victoria's southwest remains in a critical condition. Four people were killed when a vehicle struck a tree yesterday morning near Hamilton. Premier Daniel Andrews says the close-knit community has been rocked. This will be an incredibly difficult time for those families, friends, people who love those who have been caught up in this and we send our best wishes. Uh, and what will be an incredibly challenging time. A 28-year-old man has been charged with murder following the fatal stabbing of a 63-year-old man in Brisbane. Detective Inspector David Brees says they were called to a unit in Red Bank last night with reports of an altercation. Yeah, it was a very confronting scene. Uh, obviously, significant wounds to the uh, deceased and uh, a lot of blood. Uh, that sort of uh, scene that um, unfortunately we have to attend. The Senate will next month vote on legislation to enable a voice to parliament referendum, but one senator may boycott it. Lydia Thorpe is considering the move as she continues to push for a treaty with First Nations people. But speaking on the ABC, the independent senator was quick to rule out support for the no campaign. I'm not in the no camp. I've never been in the no camp. And my position has been clear all along, and that is that we need a treaty in this country. A Melbourne hospital has been declared safe after a bomb scare triggered a lockdown. Police were called to the Alfred Hospital just before 7 this morning following reports of a suspicious package. Oz Lotto, delivering Big Aussie fun every Tuesday. Grab an entry in store, online or via the Lot app today. In sport, Canberra star Corey Hawawira Naira is out of hospital after that on-field seizure in last night's Bunnies game. Raiders coach Ricky Stewart praising both teams for forming a protective circle around him as he received treatment. That's when you see the, the real character of these footballers. When one of the boys go down, it doesn't matter what team he's on, everyone got around the fact that it was a serious situation and um, there's a lot of care out there for him. While Raiders swinger Nick Kotrick is facing a $3,000 fine for a grade a one shoulder charge in last night's win if he takes the early guilty plea. Every it's Cash a Dixon Family Centre providing Just quality and flexible with. child care. This is just weather. A sunny afternoon for Toowoomba, 16 the top, dropping to 4 tonight, sunny and 16 tomorrow. It's the daily stories that matter in under 20 minutes. Search the briefing podcast on Listener, download the app now and listen for free.